be talking about becoming friends with Network Manager. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm Francesco from Red Hat. I'm Network Manager Engineering. And today, I will introduce you briefly Network Manager. There is a, um, a quote from the uh, one pages of Network Manager that are recorded here. Network Manager attempts to make networking configuration and operation as painless and automatic as possible. I focus on this automatic because I think for the average user, this is quite good. I mean, uh, if he has a, a desktop, just maybe he plugs it, it's an Ethernet cable, uh, it will just uh, don't care about networking, uh, everything should work, and it's fine. But when a user wants to take full control of a network manager, or maybe a sales administrator wants to perform a specific networking task, if uh, what you could do is maybe use a common networking configuration tools like EP tools, it could uh, end up uh, a little bit fighting with the network manager. Network manager still tries to do its own auto configuration task, and the user will get upset, basically. So when this happens, uh, what probably happens is that the user just shut down network manager, complaining about it. But there is a, an easier way to, to manage this. It's just to tell network manager, please stop your auto configuration or don't do your auto configuration on this device. In order to configure network manager, there are many ways. Probably you know some. Mm, of course, there is file-based configuration, with, which is a standard for demons in, in Linux. But you also have a device interface. You have uh, a library to access uh, network uh, manager configuration by your programs. You have, of course, graphical user interfaces that uh, are shipped both from both the two main uh, desktop uh, environments, most user, which are Unum and KDE. There is also a text user interface that has been pretty likely by some people that doesn't want to bother with the CLI. Today, I would like to give you a few CLI comments from Network Manager, because this is the, the way, uh, the easiest way and the most powerful way to interact uh, with it. In particular, we'll see how you can control the onto configuration and see what, what's happening with Network Manager with very few comments. I have a tip for you. Uh, NMCLI, which is the CLI of Network Manager, has uh, a very good uh, auto-completion uh, feature. So please be sure to have mesh completion installed. Otherwise, it will be much harder to take full, full, uh, full control of it. So let's start with just uh, the basic philosophy of Network Manager. It's quite simple. I mean, Network Manager just uh, as devices and connections. A device is just uh, a network device that is in your system. It's uh, something uh, strictly related to what you get when you do an appealing common. Yeah, just the, the network devices that are in your system. In particular, network manager for each device uh, maps if the device should be controlled by him or not. And by default, it is controlled. The connection instead, what is called the connection in Network Manager, uh, basically is just a full configuration that you could apply on a device. And it's described it by mm, a flat list of properties that are somewhat grouped in a, a setting, which is uh, basically a way to group properties uh, belonging to the same area in a more convenient way. So what Network Manager do, its philosophy is get all the device from the system and map it to, to a device, each one to a device. And all the configuration that you, you could uh, give to him are tracked in a connection. So you can apply a connection on a device. This will uh, put all the configuration in the other device. 
So let's see MCLI in action. It's pretty simple. The, thing, the first thing we'll see is uh, about uh, uh, dealing with devices. And if you just put on, uh, on your terminal an MCLI device, you get a list of the devices found by Network Manager. And quickly look at it, uh, you will see at a glance by the color, which is the state of these devices. As you see, pretty simple. Uh, you have the state reported here, connected or disconnected. It means if there is a configuration applied. So network manager terminology, if there is a connection uh, active on that device. So the first thing that you can do, instead of shutting down network manager, if you want to take full control of one of your device, is just to tell network manager, please, don't manage anymore my device. And the command is pretty straightforward. It is an MCLI device set because you want to set uh, a property on that device. The device name, the property in this case is called managed, and you say no. Once you, you pass this to Network Manager, what will happen is that Network Manager will start ignoring that device, and you could do all your IP stuff, or if it's maybe a web device, you can start to capture frames in one sort mode or whatever you want. And you can be sure that Network Manager will do nothing on, on your device. Passing to the connection, there is a symmetrical comment for uh, connection, which is an MCLI connection. It will give you the list of all the connections that are available on the system. And also in this case, at a glance, you can already see which are which connection are active <coughs> and the one with the color. While the other ones, uh, well, they are configuration connection presents, present uh, on the system, but uh, that are not act active on any device. Well, you can see, yeah, the colors here give you uh, immediately an overview of what's uh, going on with the connection, but of course, you can see if there is a device mapped on a connection, this means that the connection is active on the specified device. The color here, the, the color that we have here, okay, you can see the green one means that the connection is full applied, while the yellow one means the connection has been up, up is uh, there is uh, some, some work ongoing, maybe generally when you get uh, yellow connection, is maybe it's a, a DHCP configuration. DHCP is trying to get uh, a lease, but uh, has not able to take it yet. So this is, network manager is trying to apply this connection, then uh, it could end up uh, uh, with uh, a green connection, so everything was right, or just could be disabled because uh, Maybe in this case, uh, as not uh, get uh, uh, a DSCP lease. So you can also look into the details of a connection, just uh, uh, whether this is simple common and see like connection show name of the connection. But you will get a lot of properties. In this case, in this example, there will be more than uh, 100 properties, also because what is tracked here is also the actual configuration that you get maybe from DHCP. So what to do here? It will be an uh, overwhelming uh, number of properties. Just focus on a few properties that could be uh, of your interest. In this case, I would like to highlight to you this auto connect. Um, the autoconnect property basically tells network manager if uh, the connection you have, so the, the configuration that, is, uh, uh, that has been uh, configured in network manager, could be automatically started or not. Once again, by default, network manager will try to auto start the connection if there is uh, a device that uh, could match that uh, connection that has no configuration yet. But you can change this just telling it to modify the connection and put the property, in case of the connect to no. From this point on, 
you will have no more uh, automatic start of that specific connection. Yes, OK, let's see. And is it possible to make that the default auto-connect node as the default? So the question is, uh, it is possible to make that uh, the connection uh, is uh, not activated uh, automatically by input? Well, uh, basically, you have to, to create a connection. So when you create a connection, you just have to, to put uh, there that uh, you don't want a delta connection. So instead, uh, what is uh, somewhat related is that network manager uh, has also the uh, also another feature, which is if there is no connection at all, it will it will try to, to generate one, if possible, maybe for Ethernet. And this is this can can be switched off instead. We'll see in a while how we can do that. So the basic were auto switch off auto connection, but we can also of course uh, uh, tell network manager to manage our connection. We can see how we can add a new connection we try to modify one. To add, okay, this is a bit a bit a lot longer, common, MCLI connection, add. The first thing that you need for a connection, to add a new connection, is the type of the connection. Because depending on the type, you will have, of course, different properties. So Ethernet connection will have uh, different properties from, from Wi-Fi. And, and so this is the first thing that network manager need to know. Then in this case, we put the interface name to which we want to apply a connection and a connection name. Then we start with the modify uh, common to just change some of the, of the connection properties. In case we disable auto connect, we, we specify uh, an IPv4 method that is static, basically. One needs to have a static IPv4 uh, uh, configuration, and so on. OK, this is not exactly immediate if you don't uh, have a, ever use an CLI. But there are some app that uh, you could ask to make a manager. If you just pass MCLI ask before the comma, so something like MCLI ask uh, connection add, network manager then will ask you which the, the required parameters to properly configure your connection. So starting with the time. And if this is not enough, you can, there is also another common with this MCLI connection edit that will allow you to enter in an interactive, uh, um, interactive session with that talk manager. We will see a very brief demo about this. I will just I will just uh, start on this. <coughs> the first thing it asks me, if you don't specify any connection, you will assume that you want to create another one. The first thing it asks is the type of the connection, and it prompts you for some uh, from uh, the types available. Here, we will add an Ethernet one. Auto completion works here, too. Then it starts creating the connection, and it tells you which settings are available. So which group of properties are available? Yeah. <coughs> so there is a connection setting, Ethernet related setting, 802.x setting, and so on. In this case, we can also move to a specific setting to restrict the number of properties, because they are a lot. So we go to with a go to more common. Of course, you can, you will have auto completion, but also you can call the help online. We can move to, to a, a specific setting, to connection, for instance. Then, here, we have print, for instance, that will give 
all the properties belonging to the settings. And we'll just change, in this case, the auto connect. Then moving to, uh, for instance, SP4 method. Here are the properties. As you, see, as you can see, the method is auto, which means DHCP. I would change it with using auto completion. I, I can see what there is here. Manual, for instance. Come back. You will not have your connection saved until you tell the connection editor. So then saving. It will tell you if there is something wrong. In this case, I set um, the method meanwhile without uh, uh, telling which is the address. So if I don't put the address, I, I cannot go home. I'm done. As we can see, there is, I, I have not put uh, a name here. So I forgot that the manager put a generic name, which is this, Ethernet. And I will not specify any device if I try to, to enable the connection. It will activate it. As you can see, it applied to my only Ethernet device here. That's a cap a little bit, just the few comments that uh, we need to, to control network manager. Not that much. Then the CLI device and CLI connection will let us show which is the, the current status of network manager. If you want to have the full control of your device, just tell network manager that that device will have the managed property set to no. From that point on, it will not do anything more to it. Then the details of, of the uh, connection property can be seen with show. Uh, to modify connection, modify, of course. The ask helper will help you if you are not used to use an MCLI to have some help uh, during uh, uh, the, the change uh, of a connection or the creation of a new connection. And of course, we'll collect an MCLI connection app to, to start the connection. And our NCLI connection editor, if you want uh, an environment where, where you can uh, have something more interactive. The changes are not all persistent. If we go a little bit back, the change of the device is not persistent, while the change of the connection are. In order to have a persistent change of the on the device, you have to put uh, some configuration in networkmanager.conf uh, file. And in particular, there is this unmanaged devices option that tell you to specify interfaces by MAC address, by name, mm, with some wildcard matching uh, possibilities. You will find all the possibilities to specify, to specify uh, the managed devices in the main page of networkmanager.com. Last thing I would like to, to say, just, just this is, are just uh, uh, basic things that we have seen with Network Manager. It could do a lot of things more. So you can leverage the full power of Network Manager if you start looking at other properties. I think could be a quick way to see all the capabilities exposed. That's all. Here we have uh, our. Uh, on page of the project. Of course, there is our GitHub with all the code related to the network manager. And if you have any question or you need uh, some help or you would like just to know if there is some feature uh, already implemented, you can just ask on our ISC channel or send an email to the mailing list. Thank you. <laughs> any question? Yes, please. Can uh, Network Manager create virtual devices like home tab devices? Sorry, can you repeat? Can, can uh, Network Manager 
create uh, turn tap devices for uh, users? So the question is, can Network Manager create turn tap devices for users? Yes, it can. Yes, of course. There is also a lot of plugins of Network Manager that extends uh, as function. So yeah, anyway, the, the short answer is yes. Any other question? Yes, please. Uh, what happens if I'm connecting via Wi-Fi and speed up at the same time? Sorry, I don't hear you. Uh, uh, when I'm connected uh, using a cable yeah? and uh, on a Wi-Fi at the same time, then uh, what actually happens? OK, what happens? The question is, what happens if I'm collect, connected to uh, an alternate cable and I connect to Wi-Fi 2? Well, what happens is that uh, you will have two devices, of course, also two connections. So two configuration applied to both the devices. I suppose you will have a DHCP on both the connections, so two default routes, right? Is this the, the scenario you envision? Yeah, maybe? OK. Network Manager has some connectivity checker uh, properties. So it, it will uh, identify if uh, you have connectivity uh, over both the connection. And depending on the result of the connectivity checker, it will decide to add different priorities to the default route. But basically, the two connection will, uh, will live uh, bot. And yeah, the fancy thing is that if one uh, will not uh, uh, allow to connect because maybe the gateway is not reachable, uh, Network Manager will uh, adjust uh, the, the metrics on the routing table by itself. Last question? Yes, please. Is there a way with Network Manager to define that if both connections like Wi Fi and Ethernet are connected, that it actually disconnects the Wi Fi and only use the Ethernet, then reconnects the Wi Fi? Well, uh, so the question is, uh, there is a way to turn network measure to, if uh, I'm connected to Wi-Fi uh, and I disconnect, uh, sorry, if I'm connected to uh, Ethernet, to not connect to Wi-Fi and connect just when I disconnect from Ethernet. So the short answer is, uh, yeah, of course, you can do something like that. Uh, the, the thing I'm thinking of is there is a feature of Network Manager which is called uh, basically uh, dispatcher scripts. Every time a connection is uh, started or is uh, turned down, you have the opportunity to, to run a script and get uh, all, all the information about it. So you can somehow script it in, in any way you want. You, you can find a good description on dispatcher scripts on uh, Network Manager on pages. I think it's uh, one of the first things that it's presented. OK, you have no time. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>